Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm coming to you today to tell you of a dream that the Lord gave me on March 30th, 2018. I dreamed that I was in a grocery store and received a phone call from a woman. She named, she said her name was Lori. She said, I need you to pray for us because there's a report of a storm coming and their store was not being protected. I said, okay. And as I looked out of the window, I said, oh my gosh, at what sank my heart. It was the scariest scene I'd ever seen in a dream. I saw the sky. It was a medium blue turning darker and the sky was filling up with tornadoes. I saw at least five large tornadoes crossing each other, intersecting at their tail ends, getting ready to touch down everywhere. They stood over what looked like a huge ocean. And then I heard a voice that sounded like my mom, and it said, this is the judgment of the Lord. I jumped up from my sleep at 7 a.m. to write this down, only to have the Lord tell me that he wanted me to go back to sleep so that he could show me the rest of the dream. I fell back asleep, and it seemed like I went into another scene, but the same dream. I told a woman, let's go in the basement, because I looked out of the window and saw the tornadoes had gotten much closer to us. So we went into the basement where the people were, where there were people, mainly younger people, and I told them that they needed to repent, and they did. That was the end of my dream. I strongly believe that the Lord's judgment is coming soon to the church, body of Christ, if you will. And this is a strong warning. God, God is wanting to give his people to repent and turn back return back to our first love and to be doing what it is he called us to do so that we will be spared from this particular judgment that is coming really soon. I pray that whoever hears this message that you would share it, share it. And I pray that if you are not saved, that you would repent and give your heart to the Lord. And if you are saved and have slacked up that you will repent and give your heart back to the Lord and do what he has called you to do. Have a blessed day.